I'm not even sure I can pronounce thank you at the end, so I will say thank you. Um, <clears throat> what I will try to do in this very brief presentation is uh, um, touching base, uh, not really on social media per se, we will have experts doing it later, but uh, raising some question on how <coughs> companies uh, should probably uh, approach the social media uh, topic, I wouldn't call it issue, or the social media opportunity, let's call it this way. And what I will try to do is doing it by doing it is, uh, as I said, raising questions, giving uh, a few line of thoughts rather than providing definite answers. Um, the way I will try to do it uh, is uh, by uh, bringing in the experience of ASCAI, which is the Italian Association of uh, uh, Internal Communication uh, people working in corporate environments which I'm representing here today, as well as the uh, experience I uh, put together in almost 25 years of experience working in communication for various companies, both in Italy and outside Italy, and today as a consultant in this field. So let's start with this uh, uh, presentation. I'm going to flip through a few numbers at the beginning, don't get... Uh, 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 what do you say? Don't... Uh, don't feel uh, overwhelmed by them. It's just a couple of numbers that give you probably a size and dimension of uh, this uh, phenomenon. Um, one thing I want to be clear though, this uh, uh, initial cover of the presentation, there's uh, many faces of many people. And that's not the case, of course. Uh, because uh, what we believe, and when I say we, it's not just myself, Massimo Greggio, but it's the people uh, I talk with every day in my environment and in my profession are firmly led to believe that what we are talking about when we are talking about uh, internal communication, as uh, Steve said, and social media, which is part of it or can be intertwined with it, is basically talking about people. So, this is what we are talking about. We are talking about people, the way they relate to each other, the way they feel the way they express themselves, but this is what we're talking about. And when a company starts uh, approaching not just the social media theme, but any kind of communication, internal communication theme, should always be led by these thoughts. That is, uh, what we're doing is uh, we are establishing a relationship with people. We are establishing, we are trying to have people working together. We are trying to have people be bound to the company. So, as I said, this is working, but it's not going there. You did it. You did it. I know that. You didn't want me to go through because you don't agree with what I'm talking about. <laughs> don't trust it yet. This is where it's uncanny, of course. <laughs> Try now? Okay, here we are again. So I just said a couple of numbers. Um, and these numbers are constantly being updated. They are a few weeks old now. One out of every six minutes is spent on one out of every six minutes spent online in is spent in social networking. Okay, so people who are online, 20 percent, almost 20 percent of their time uh, spend their time in social networking. When we dig, focus down on Facebook, uh, which is of course the most relevant part of it, we discover that uh, almost the average usage of Facebook is seven hours per visitor each month. That means, think of this, almost one working day. So almost one working day, which is, is spent on Facebook. I'm not saying that people spend this work, brown, sorry, on Facebook just during work hours. This is not what I'm saying, but if you think of it, what that's the kind of time people devote to, to Facebook 
present. Maybe, I'm just raising a point, could it be the reason why it's on top of corporate blacklist, the access to Facebook and YouTube? A few more numbers on the other sides, which are constantly evolving, as I said. Uh, 3 million views per day on YouTube, 850 million users on Facebook, 150 million users on LinkedIn, the professional network, let's say, and 500 million users uh, with 150 million tweets per day, as far as Twitter is concerned. So, these numbers are, as I said, evolving as we are talking, as you know. So, big use of uh, um, those kind of uh, social media by an increasing number of people. So it's not just number though, because uh, it's about uh, emotion. This is Facebook promise. We helps you to, Facebook helps you to connect and share with the people in your life. And Twitter instantly connects to what is most important to you. So it's something again pertaining to the people, the individual. So I guess that uh, big numbers about people once again. Okay. Um, now I want to bring in the Axi experience somehow, and what we believe is that uh, it's not something that you have uh, the, the, the wizard stick, whatever you call it, the, the magic wand. Uh, it's something that you, at least from a company standpoint, because this is what I'm talking about, the company standpoint, is something that you learn by doing. And uh, we have put together a few thoughts about this social media phenomenon in the companies also related to the companies in the past few years. We, these are the kind of companies, some of the companies, which are represented in the sky. And this is just to give you an idea of uh, uh, the broad spectrum we have. We have industrial companies, we have banks, we have service companies like that in Italia. We have uh, at the top, I can see that is the tax office, including, so we want to be very careful what we say. Uh, but the fact is, it's a broad uh, <coughs> group of companies with different cultures, with different company population. So we believe it's quite a solid base uh, to do our analysis and to do our research and worship. So as I said, we started in 2008, and basically it was, you may recall, the big fast of even a few years before, but uh, let's say that's when we were talking quite highly about uh, the Web 2.0, and the big fuss about Second Life, which by the way has disappeared almost today, I think. Uh, so we started thinking how, as companies, we can use these tools for business communication, for communicating with our people. And basically what we did back then, I remember, we set aside the issue and said, okay, it's something there, but we are not sure this is a, uh, these are the right tools because this is what we consider then, back then. We are not sure these are the right tools we want to use in our company to communicate with other people. This was 2008. 2010, we realized we had to come back with it. And, but we looked at it from another perspective. The kind of productivity that these tools, sorry, I shouldn't call them tools, these uh, media platform may give us. And we tried to look at it from the not from the company, broad company perspective, but from the internal communicator perspective, will it help us in doing our job? And we thought that, well, maybe it can help us, but still, let's rely on more traditional media. And today, when I say traditional, it includes the inter internet approach, which is quite old now. Last year, we realized that there was something more, the mobile revolution. And we said, okay, tools, productivity, and now everything is being brought outside and the people are, and the companies, are constantly connected thanks to the mobile revolution. By 2013, 8% of the company, of 16, I can't remember, well, very shortly, yeah. 8% of the company will uh, introduce tablets for business use. So the mobile thing, uh, which goes beyond the email and your blackberries, 
all of them already. Um, and again, a few other questions. But then, and here we are in 2012, we talk about tools, we talk about productivity from the internal communications standpoint. Now the mobile revolution is in, and now we have an issue here. Because by the time passing, by the time we talk, and by the time we think on how we can use the media, this is what we're talking about in May. This thing is uh, May 24th, 26th, 2012. This is when this version is going to take place. So now we have to understand how we can handle the relationship with other people. Because, bec why? Because people are, uh, when we're thinking on what we would do, and when I say we, I'm not saying we as a sky or the companies which I mentioned, but generally speaking, what the company is thinking, what kind of usage we can make of social media, social media there, and the people are already ahead of us. Because you can ban Facebook, you can ban YouTube, but you cannot prevent, nine out of ten, a person to bring uh, her or his smartphone at the office with which she or he can tweet or retweet it. I mean, this is not something you can uh, uh, prevent people from doing. So social media are already in the company. While the company is still thinking what they should do with it, they are in there already. And by the time passing, uh, due to this, uh, I mean, you are much younger than I am, but uh, anybody uh, uh, will, will um, by the time passing, the number of young people used to use these kind of approaches, I wouldn't call them tool or media, I wouldn't call them communication approach, will increase. And the company will have to cope with it, whether or not. So, let me go back quickly to five minutes, three minutes? Okay, taking too long. I will skip a few things. Um, Internal social media. Internal, I would say that probably talking about internal doesn't make any sense, that much any sense today for the business I told you. Internal or external is a non issue. When somebody in the company knows the things about his or her company before everybody. Social creates a number of implications because. Uh, what is social? Is the sharing part of it, or is the fact that we are creating, a, we are trying to cope with a number of different entities, or we are creating new ones? And media, we cannot keep everything under control because a number of things that are mentioned there, cross-platform, always connect people who have their own personal approach to the tool. This is the kind of attitude we're seeing in the company. <coughs> if you, on the horizontal axis, uh, you have uh, the lowest uh, strategic approach to the highest, and then on the vertical axis, the, from the lowest user to the highest user, we see that the companies can be put in here, I'm sorry, where there are some, and these are some examples, example, that some examples from Italy, from Italian companies, uh, we have the super adopter that is a high use of uh, social media with a high strategic approach. Some others are in the lower quadrant. The point is though, they are everybody's on the strategy side. That is, uh, there's no company which is deciding just to let uh, social media go without having a strategy first. That is, uh, in terms of some power as the strategic use of uh, media, social media strictly intertwined with the communication strategy. While in the seat, uh, which is the client's company, is uh, testing in certain areas for certain community social network. Another bank is, uh, for instance, trying to understand what to do a bit older on average than others, and they are trying to understand how to go with each other. Nonetheless, not the rest, they are all developing their strategies. And that's the point. So I'll try to elaborate strategies which is consistent with the overall communication strategy. So the point is that after all this, there is no perfect recipe for internal social media strategies. The recipe is the right one for the company that you are in, you are working in. 
in order to do that, the thing is observe and listen what's going around you, trying to understand what the trends are, research, and this is particularly important, uh, in an environment where we see that what's being done two years ago today is already very old and it's prehistoric. Test what you think could be working, maybe on some particular communities, measure the results of your test. Because what you don't want to do is uh, <coughs> falling in love with a tool, and then once you're falling in love with a tool, you say, okay, this is it. Think again about Second Life. Everybody was falling in love with Simple Tasks, uh, Second Life. People, companies were actually having the presence of Second Life, expenses on Second Life, and there's no more Second Life today. So measure the what you've done work, and then select carefully. Select carefully and with the courage, I would say. If you think that for attracting the people you need in your companies, uh, Facebook is the right tool to have in your company, not managing, but having it, let people access to Facebook, then if it's correct for attracting the people you want, let have Facebook in your company. But be, I would say, courageous enough, brave enough to uh, allow people in the company after this browser, after having your server listen, after having research, after having tested and measured, then make the choice of bringing Facebook in, the, in, the, in your company. And then I'm done. I know I've already gone a bit beyond, I'm sorry, it was so much into it. Uh, in order to do that, uh, but we go to the very basic of communication which is basically what we call the ACT rule in Italy. The acronym doesn't work that way, but aims, customer, and tools. That is, uh, analyzing the facts, what the objectives are, clearly define what your objectives are when you decide any kind of communication action or initiatives. And this, it's valid like for any kind of approach, being it social or being it, uh, I don't know, any other PR initiative or media initiative that you may want to uh, kick off. This is valid for everything. Analyze and share. Share within the company the kind of objective you have. Then, study carefully what your customer, internal, external, uh, the journalist population uh, wants to... how that customer is and how you can better achieve the objectives by getting to the customer. And then choose the tools accordingly. So once you define the objective, once you know your customer or the target, let's say, then you pick the tool. Don't focus on the tool. Don't focus on the media. Don't focus also on Facebook or Twitter. Because this is not the problem. The problem is what is your objective and what is your target, which is your target. Then you pick the tool. Don't start from the bottom. Start from the top. Thank you. Thank you.